And ticket prices for events at the Nutter Center could be going up with that increase in revenue to benefit the city of Fairborn. Two News reporter Devro Bogart is digging deeper into how the money from a new fee would be used. This new proposed ordinance would not impact Wright State University as this increase would be directed to the consumer. But the city says this could bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars and only cost the ticket purchaser a couple of bucks. Having its first reading last night, the city of Fairborn is proposing an entertainment admissions fee ordinance, meaning there would be a 5% increase on cost of tickets. We're not targeting the Nutter Center specifically, just so that's clear, we're targeting large events because we do provide support to those events. They do use our roads, our police, our fire, our EMS, all of that. If passed, the city expects the ordinance could bring in anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000 a year money that would directly benefit Fairborn's infrastructure. If your ticket price is $20 or greater, you will see a 5% fee on your ticket price. So you would pay $21 if your ticket was $20. So even on a $100 ticket, you're talking $5. So the consumer's not going to see that large of a difference on the ticket price. That money would be deposited into the general fund, used for any number of reasons like capital improvements or maintenance. We are excluding certain events, so the Wright State basketball will not be affected. Any charitable event, educational event, things to that nature, religious event, those will not be um, subject to the admissions fee. The next reading and public hearing on this ordinance will be December 2nd at Fairborn City Council Chambers. Reporting in Fairborn, Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.